In this video, we're going to look at the volume and the diagonal of a rectangular solid as well as a cube. Now we know that the volume of a rectangular solid is length times width times height. And in a cube, it's a to the power of 3. And the surface area is 2 times AB plus BC plus CA. That's because first we have this side, the surface AB, and there are two sets of these in the solid, as well as side BC and AC in the front. So there are two sets of all these three surfaces, hence the equation 2 times AB plus BC plus CA. Now let's get the diagonal line. Now we know that all angles are 90 degrees in a rectangular solid. So if we draw a line on the surface of AB, a diagonal line like this, then the length of this line we can get using the Pythagoras theorem. So the length of this will become the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now why do we get this line? Now we can use this line to get the diagonal L. Because once again, the line that we just created and line C creates an angle of 90 degrees. So again, we can use the Pythagoras theorem to get the length of L. So L squared equals square root A squared plus B squared squared plus C squared. In other words, it's A squared plus B squared plus C squared. So L is the square root of A squared plus B squared plus C squared. Now we can use the same logic to get the diagonal of a cube, only this time all sides are equal, all length are equal. So the length of a side and a cube are all a, so l will be the square root of a squared plus a squared plus a squared. And then this is the square root of 3a squared which is the square root 3a. So make sure you memorize these equations.